Hello and greetings there to all my fellow SharePoint enthusiasts. It's Tom Robbins here with ASPE Technology, and this is my weekly blog post. This week we'll talk about using the SharePoint 2013 news feed. Uh, so as I mentioned in my uh, blog post from last week, the news feed is new to 2013. It's one of the most awesome functionalities we've been looking for for a long time. It gives uh, teams a way to share information that can benefit your team in real time. It's a way to microblog. It's sort of the, the, the Twitter feed of SharePoint, allowing your users to post information in the form of a microblog post. And people can consume that information, interact with that information, creating a you know truly collaborative communication sharing experience. So a lot of things users can do in the news feed. You can post messages, ask questions, share ideas, and then people can come along and, um, and, and reply to your message or indicate that they like your message. Um, they can post pictures and videos and text and URLs. Um, so it's a really cool way you know, to, to really get people engaged and excited about using your SharePoint site. So you'll notice here I've got a news feed that's, that's already live here in my demo site. So a couple of things we can do in a news feed. Of course, we can post post uh, microblog posts up to 512 characters, you know, very similar to Twitter. Um, so good morning, everyone, maybe. I'm in the office today until 3. Stop by if you need me uh, as I'm out of the office next week. Something like that. And of course, I could attach an image if I had one. And now my post is in the news feed. Now these news feeds are, uh, are deployed using the news feed app. So you can place the news feed in any team site, project site, community site, pretty much anywhere you want to post them. And the access to the news feed is based on the access you have to the site. So that's typically your team has read write access to the news feed. Uh, and then anyone could come along and see my, my micro blog post. They could like it. Basically, that just shows affinity or interest in my blog post. They can add their own reply. Uh, I'll drop by to see you at noon. Lunch, maybe? I don't know. Okay. A couple of the other options. I can copy a link to this conversation so that we could send that link out by email, which is sort of old school. I could set a follow-up on this uh, on this microblog post and that follow-up would actually uh, uh, SharePoint would create a task in my in my task list for me to follow up uh, to this particular blog post um, so you know typically the things you see in any kind of in any kind of news feed now these news feeds can also, uh, they have two other features, uh, the hashtag feature and the mention feature so the hashtag feature basically allows me to apply a tag to this conversation and then SharePoint can use those tags all throughout uh, SharePoint uh, um, through through the knowledge the uh, social database integration so let's see does anyone have any info about when and I'm just gonna use hashtag SharePoint and I'll pick SharePoint 2013 uh, migration will be complete okay and I can go ahead and post that so now users can actually come along and click on the hashtag to take me to the uh, actual tag page. This is a tag profile page. So we'll click on that link. And SharePoint will open uh, the tag profile page showing me all of the conversations that people are having throughout SharePoint where this hashtag has been used. If there were any related tags, they would be seen here. So uh, it also gives you the capability to follow the tag. And basically by following the tag, then any kinds of conversations about this topic would also feed into your personal news feed. So that's a really, really cool feature, the ability to follow these hashtags. And you can do that from the profile page or by clicking follow uh, and the hashtag here in, uh, in the, in the uh, conversation itself. We could also mention people. Let's say that I know that Bill is uh, our SharePoint migration specialist, or, or rather Scott in this case, because I have a Scott in my Active Directory, I don't have a bill. I could say, uh, hey, and then use at the at sign and start typing a user's name. If I can say at Scott Clark, do you have any idea as your 
the lead on the migration. Okay, and basically I've mentioned him directly in this blog post. So not only do we get a link here, uh, rather not the blog post, but the newsfeed. Uh, we actually get a link here to Scott by clicking on this. This will open his profile so we can find out more about Scott and get in touch with Scott. But also Scott will receive an email telling him that I mentioned him in this conversation. As well as this particular microblog post will feed into Scott's news feed. So that's another way Scott will know that he's sort of been drawn into this conversation. Then he can come here and participate in the conversation. So through the use of both the hashtagging uh, for classifying and categorizing your conversations and using the at mention, we can really start to give meaning to the conversations we're having in SharePoint. So a couple of a really uh, cool features about uh, using these hashtags uh, and how the social uh, database sort of works in SharePoint. Um, these hashtags are now searchable and SharePoint's tracking where they're being used. So let's say I pop into my news feed. Um, if we had a lot of real activity here on my uh, demo site, notice we have trending tags here. This is where SharePoint tells us what, what people are talking about. So these are the same kind of trending tags you have out in the, in the public sector. So you can see what people are talking about. Actually click on the tag to see the conversations um, that people are having. Read the conversations. Connect with the individual users uh, that are participating in the conversations. But we could actually also use search. So anywhere in SharePoint where it's been set up properly, we can search for that particular hashtag and not only find content, but also find conversations. And if you happen to have an enterprise search center like I have here, so I'm just going to open my enterprise search center, we can search for that hashtag here as well. And SharePoint then allows us to narrow down in our refiners to see just conversations around specific topics. So the news feed is an extremely powerful tool to really get your teams engaged. Uh, it's something we recommend that you have on uh, in a visible location, you know, front and center on every team site and community site or project site. Uh, it's a really great way to help drive adoption and get people really interested in sharing in your team sites. Okay, so that's all about news feeds. Look forward to next week uh, when I'll post something new and exciting about SharePoint 2013.